Welcome to Technuba. I initially bought the Rode video mic to improve my audio, but I didn't see that much of a difference in sound than the built-in mic for my Canon T3i. So I sold it and recently bought the Tackstar SGC-598 recording microphone. Many of the reviews said it's a good competitor to Rode VideoMic for nearly one-sixth the price. It looks fairly similar, minus the nice writing of the Rode logo on the mic. I'm about to test out this device for the first time to see if I notice any difference. Will this Tackstar microphone prove to be the same, less, or better than the Rode video mic? We'll just have to test it out and find out. The Rode video mic is roughly $150 to $200. The Tackstar microphone is $30. Four, the video mic might sound better, but does it sound 120 to 170 times better than this Tackstar mic? I guess the answer is in the ear of the beholder. I sold my video mic long ago, so there will not be any video mic testing on this video. We will simply have this Tackstar mic to record with, and you can watch other video mic by Rode videos out there on YouTube to decide which sounds better. We have this single mic, and right now this recording is coming to you through my iPhone 5. S. Hi. 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 How you doing there? Okay, so I'm about three feet away. The setting is normal with no bass boost. Roughly three feet away. Probably ten feet away, no bass boost, and regular setting. Hi, this is a test from about twelve feet away. No bass boost. No plus 10, just the regular settings. This is three feet away with plus 10 dB and the regular, and no bass boost. We're about six feet away, no bass boost, plus 10 dB. About 10 feet away, plus 10 dB, no bass boost. We're all the way across the room, plus 10 dB, no bass boost. And this is really close up, about two feet away. Two feet away with plus 10 dB. This is two feet away with bass boost and plus 10 dB. This is about six feet away, plus 10 dB with bass boost. This is all the way across the room with plus 10 dB and bass boost. Test, 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 one, two, three. This is ambient about two feet away. This is ambient roughly six feet away. This is ambient about 10 feet away. And this is all the way across the room on the ambient onboard built-in microphone. Okay, here goes another test with this microphone. I have these, the camera's about two feet away from my face right now. Uh, I'm scratch, I'm gonna scratch it. So, uh, this is the mic. I don't know how much better it sounds than the ambient mic. And I think I'm doing something wrong because this is the same result I had with the Rode video mic. So I don't know what else I could do. I have the mic plugged into the mic port and there's not really many settings. I'm using a Canon T3i and this is the ambient mic now. This is a recording with the ambient mic. I've unplugged the microphone on top so we could see if there's any difference at all between the additional mic or the onboard camera mic. There'll probably be a slight difference, but not that dramatic of one. It's possible that the Canon built-in mic is just as good as any, as any add-on mic. I doubt it, but it's possible. In the end, this microphone performed slightly below what the video mic had a couple years ago, but it's not that much of a difference as the video mic was from the built-in ambient microphone. I'm probably doing something wrong as I've seen other people's tests deliver different results. Welcome to Technuba.